and laptops and smartphones in the classroom are crucial learning tools or unwelcome distractions? Some schools encourage them, others don't allow them. Using laptops and smartphones in the classroom provokes strong views among teachers, parents and children. And now the Department for Education is looking at whether they should be banned across England because of issues with behaviour. Our education editor, Branwyn Jeffries, has been weighing up the pros and cons at two schools with completely different approaches. Technology is an everyday part of life. In some schools, smartphones are being used for learning too. What is a current population of South Africa? At this school in Dorset, pupils can use their own device. Phones have to be on the desk face up. A technology report for the government backed this approach. And here, they think it's the future. With a smartphone, we can cross-reference the textbook. We can look at the different population flows that are changing throughout Europe because of the migrant crisis. Um, that isn't replicated in the textbook, but yet with one of these devices, you can get the very latest information. So Vicky's son, Finley, uses his phone at school and for homework. Instead of um, looking up in a book, you've got a wider stretch of information to find the answers to your questions. It's all about helping our children to develop into modern society. Everything changes and it's about learning to change with that. I think Google asked my name There have been warnings recently that schools simply spending money on devices doesn't always deliver better learning. We don't yet know whether this approach to learning, using devices including smartphones, will make a difference in the long term. But there is some evidence that unsupervised access to phones in the classroom can lead to some pupils being distracted. So smartphones in class are under review, but some schools have already banned them. There's a zero tolerance rule at this boys' school in Manchester. Debbie says the strict policy will help her son concentrate. It has to be a distraction, even if they get a text or somebody tries to call them, you know, it makes a noise or even if they put it on silent, it, it still distracts them because they have to look at it. I think it's crucial to have the ban because it enables kids to focus more on their lessons instead of what texts they're getting, what high scores they have in games. The school says there's less bullying and better results. We have got improved learning. We have got children focused on what the teacher's trying to do rather than with a phone under their desk sending a message to their girlfriend in another school. We've lost all of that. Schools in England are finding their own very different ways through the challenges of managing smartphones. The government's own expert advisers have said they believe children should bring their own devices to school, making it unlikely that ministers will go for an outright ban. Brownwyn Jeffries, BBC News, Manchester. That's all from the BBC News at six. It's goodbye from me. And on BBC One, we can join the BBC's news teams where you are. Bye-bye.